Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to boost your performance with your Razor Blade 15 by overclocking with MSI Afterburner and undervolting with throttle stop. So I just wanna say that it's not really advised to overclock any laptop with MSI Afterburner because it causes overheating issues and whatnot. But I actually have done it in a way where I was able to boost my performance dramatically while having amazing temperatures probably around in the 70s and the 60s so that's really unheard of with laptops but i was able to do it so um what i've done is actually i've focused on undervolting my cpu to a safe temperature so uh, i set the offset voltage down to a negative 140 so that's that's really allowed my um, cpu to stay cooler with uh, lower temps and uh, lower um, voltages coming into the computer. And I've also lowered the cores down. So there are actually better videos showing you this, how to do this, but it's really simple. All you do is you, you download throttle stop, you start with FIVR. You wanna focus on these two guys here, the CPU core and the CPU cache. And you wanna set your offset voltage down around 10 to 15 incrementally until your computer crashes. So once your computer crashes, uh, that, sh that tells you that you should probably lower the voltage. Mine works great at negative 140, but for you it may be different. And I've also lowered the cores quite a bit. So I set down to 40, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. Then you just click apply and you're done. But as for the overclock it's a little bit more complicated because you're overclocking a laptop so with this razor blade uh, the without the core clock without the uh without any overclock this is the uh, this is the base and this is the boost so it's not that great it's around 850 uh for the core clock and for the memory clock it's uh, the boost goes up to close to 1250, just under 1250. And that's really not great for this, for the price you're paying for this computer. So I found a way to overclock it and get it to around a 2080 Super or 2080 Super Max Q performance. I would say the 2080 Super Max Q. But um, I basically overclocked it here by setting the core clock up incrementally to within 10s and 50s until it got to a point where it was crashing and I couldn't just play the game. And that was the same done with the memory clock, except I did it by hundreds. So if you do this, you can get to around a safety point. So my safety point was 194. I can't go any higher than that or else the game will crash. And that being said, my temperatures have been totally fine. The performance has been great. So with games like Modern Warfare and Cold War, I'm getting like 140 FPS and on a on medium to high settings. And that's great considering this is a laptop and this is all you want out of it. So uh, just like and uh, subscribe if you like the video. Uh, I can show you a more in depth video if you want. Um, I'll be uploading a video showing the performance I've gotten out of this overclock and how I've done it. So uh, give it a like and uh, subscribe and to see more content. Thank you.